Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are doing another update video on this great rainy morning in Minecraft. I thought that was a great view to start off with. I'm just looking over the monastery here. It's really cool. We got our big planes bound behind us. And right here we got our new banner. I hope you guys like this. I can't I don't believe I've showed this to you guys yet. We got a little light bug coming through it. But I thought it turned out pretty cool. We got we got some white cross hatching going on, and then this side was green, and that side was or lime green. Then we got like a blue over here, kind of hidden behind the oxide daisy in the middle. And then we got using the vines, we got this outside texture on it. I thought it worked out pretty cool. Okay, so I want to start off with this view. It just looks really awesome. And then we can kind of go off this route, and I can give you guys a little update on what I've been doing so far. I will admit though, I have been pretty busy recently. I haven't been able to play Minecraft a whole lot because I've been a little obsessed with World of Warcraft and all that. What the hell is going on? God damn it, skeleton. Um, but like I was saying, the new raid came out, wow. So I've been doing that a lot with a lot of IRL buddies and I've been really enjoying that. But I'm going to keep the series going for sure. I've been having a lot of fun here too. So I just need to find more time in the day to do this. But yeah, I got a lot of building in, just haven't been able to get a lot of recording in because I've been doing it while talking to people and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I added this outcropping bit here and brought this bit out a little bit. I think I might have to bring that guy up right there a little bit more. Let's see what this looks like if we just do it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh. All right, let's see if we just do something like that. That works, okay. I can go with that. I just needed to widen that up a little bit. It was a little skinny. Anyways, we got this little outcropping bit here and it's just a little a little way up because we had the door there and last time we were talking about how we needed some way to get up and so i added this in i really like it i think it turned out well got a little bench here because you know using trap doors and all that good stuff um i'm trying to figure out something to put on top of it but i'm not sure yet and uh let's see what else do we do over here we already had the rose bushes and all that kind of stuff going on my i did a little bit more decorating around the pond the other thing I was waiting on to record the video was the texture pack update, and it just has not come yet. Uh, I'm going to have to go bug Monster about that a little bit more, just to get it, because a lot of these things, like the lily pads being ice and everything, is starting to bug me, just because it's been here for so long. Anyways, we've done a lot of the interior of the monastery here, uh, mostly just adding in rows of pews and doing a little decoration on the outside. So back here we got all these different rows of pews. It's not quite monster safe. I started adding in glowstone and things like that, just trying to make it a little bit more monster safe. But both sides are pretty similar. They kind of they are pretty identical. Just kind of mirrored over, minus that little front part right here. We got a little entry area versus a little bench over there. Uh, I've been trying to work with chandelier designs and things like that. They're not too great yet. Not up to the Dukon status. Uh, but they're kind of first first run at it and yeah this is what we got and then the whole front area i really enjoyed doing this part it's pretty cool um i used these end rods that was pretty it was a pretty good idea i thought they give they still look like candles ish and they give off a lot more light than the redstone candles so it works out but a lot of banners everywhere just trying to put them up get some color in here we got the front area right here, you know, the whole altar and all that good stuff. And then um, back here, we just got some books, some more candles, benches, and more books. And we I threw a dragon head up there. Figured I had them. Might as well use them. Skeleton head over there. And yeah, um, let's go wander around and see what else we can find. But it's this is going to be a pretty short video, guys. Just kind of updating you guys on all the last minute stuff i've been doing little bits here and there um a lot kind of stuff going around the outside here but sorry just trying to fill in the space and make it look more homey and finished instead of before it was kind of empty when you're walking through certain areas but like little bench table chairs blah 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 we already looked through this area i don't think i've changed anything in here um over here we have not done that area yet up in here, started doing a little bit here. Um, mostly just reworking the flooring and the roofs and all that. I started doing this area, that's what it was. We're gonna do an armor stand there, a little bench here, probably a chair here, carpet on the ground, and maybe some more storage or something somewhere else. Um, the chickens are hard at work, not really hard at work. 
Um, but yeah, so they're doing their thing. And oh, 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 oh. Um, this is the big area that I think I've been working on. Yeah, so we started doing the living quarters for all the monks and everything like that. Over here, we just got bookshelves and just kind of a desk area, a little tree in the corner, a little bush, and all this stuff. I don't believe I've shown this to you guys before, but yeah, so this is the area right now. Still waiting for those carpet updates and all that good stuff. And then back here, we got their actual living quarters, just a bunch of bunk beds and things. So more desks just kind of hidden back in here, storage and goodies like that. Um, but yeah. Nothing back here in the bathrooms yet. These are gonna these are gonna take a little while. Um, right out here over this back door, because I've been working on breeding those wolves and everything and the dogs. Um, I want to do a dog kennels in this area, so we'll get to work on this. I'm thinking like a kennel right in this area, another smaller one right here, and a smaller one right here, and then like a fence across that area. I think that could turn out pretty cool. Um, it's a nice little like shaded spot. It's pretty. It's gonna be pretty calm back here and really low key and all that stuff. So I think it'll work out great for a dog. Little dog kennel. Um, but yeah, all the dogs are still just chilling in here. They're just hanging, doing their own thing, staring at the wall. So staring outside, I guess. Someday we'll get you guys outside. But today is not that day. Um, going down here. We've just been working on the storage things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've been working on a giant mob farm. I'll show you guys that, where I've decided instead of running all over the place doing strip mining to get stone and everything, I've just decided I'm gonna work on a mob farm. And so I've been setting up the first steps of it. Hey, there's a lot of monsters down here. Um, well, I can't really, let me kill off these and then we can show you guys what's going on here. Oh, so much stuff. Ugh, we're almost, we're almost done, almost done. One more, come on, Mr. Skeleton. All right, let me grab a torch out after this. All right, there we go, cool. Uh, I grab some torches in our offhand. Where'd that, uh, that spider's jumping up there. Anyway, so this is gonna be the mob farm. Um, I figured out a way with pistons and observer blocks, found it online, but we can basically make a system. Oh, get out of here, stupid spider. Eat up some pork chops real quick. Mm, yeah, pork chops. Anyways, so the system will basically, every time a mob spawns on that, it'll oh, there's a string there that'll open and then pull it, the uh, piston will pull the block back, the mob will fall down, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so this is the cautious part of it. It's going to go all the way down to there. I dug out the depth I want to get to just kind of so we can see it. I think it's down over here too. Yeah. So that's the depth we're going for. And then pretty much what we can do this, it's, I think it's 24 blocks down from right here. So it'll fall all the way down to the bottom and die. And so we're going to have a bunch of hoppers across the bottom just to pick up all the goodies that drop out and things like that. And then um, what we can basically do is we can stack these up and up and up as many times as we want to make more mobs spawn at one given time. So it'll work out pretty well. Um, I think on one side we've actually started digging up a little bit. I kind of thought about this the wrong way and it started digging down instead of up. And yeah, that's kind of not how you want to do it probably. So yeah, that's the mob farm. Um, this is where I've been getting all my stone from recently. Doing a lot of just mining out and stuff like that. It'll get going here pretty soon. Um, I'm really excited to get it finished up. It'll be cool to see how many mobs we can get. We got our totally humane farms back here. Um, I had to silk touch some grass to get the sheep to start growing their wheat again, their wool again. They don't grow wheat. But yeah, so and we can kind of go to some future planning and things like that for when we get beyond this build. I've been really thinking about a lot of extra stuff to do. Um, interiors always kind of come to me pretty slowly. So I like, I like doing exteriors, I like making the big fancy builds instead of like the little small details to the interior. So I'm working through the interiors as quickly as I can without killing myself. Um, but yeah, so we'll go up here and go back to kind of where we started. And we can go check out what is over in that area. 
So we're going this way. I don't think there's anything new out here. You guys have seen the little farms and all that good stuff. We gotta do the interior upper area of that still. Uh, I no, I I did do something over here. Just remember that. Sorry guys. So it's been a little while. Um, so up in this one, started doing the rooms. Yeah. They're just kind of shaped out the room. So we got a small little room for like a bed or something back here. Got some room for some a little bit of storage up here. I know that's blocking the window, but maybe like another bed or something like a little peasant bed thing going on. We can probably break down the wall a little bit there and get another window out. Over here we got a big like merchant room, I guess we can call it. Probably going to put a desk over on that wall. And then we got a bed right here, which should be cool and all that. And again, they have this whole upper area for more living spaces. I figured we'd give them a little quiet study up there or something. Haven't done anything over in this area yet. Yeah, no, we haven't done anything there. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got going on in this building, along with our downstairs area that you guys have already seen at least once. And then we can start running over this way. Eat some pork chops. Yeah, let's go. And we can get our butt going this way real quick. Back along the edge of the pond. This road is really nice to have it. I think it I really, really happy with how it's turning out and everything. Um coming over here. So we got this little I we've I've shown you guys this area before. I've talked about doing a farming village out here, I believe. And, but anyways, I want to get the village going. Um, things like just kind of get something else going. I want to do a little orchard. We can use birch trees or something since we're growing so many right there anyways. But I was thinking around this area. We throw in a little tavern right here. A little tool shop or blacksmith or something right in this area. And we can throw in like a house or two on this area. Just kind of all little stone houses and everything. And then up in here... We're, this is going to be a lot of terraforming, but we can start smoothing out the terrain and everything and get all these cool little ponds and things and fields, like big, big fields. So if we go to the map now, we can see this whole area. We got all of this. I want to kind of round it off so it kind of goes along the base of the mountain right along there and then kind of coming back down along the edge of the forest. Maybe down in there and probably kind of over in here and then up to the top of that hill and then kind of following the river along that way. Which we'll probably go and chop out that river there and clean up as much as we can. Uh, let's go check that out right now and see if we can even get that done. But yeah, so this is kind of the future plans. This is next steps after we finish the monastery because the, mo the huge monastery is there. Lots of rooms, lots of all that stuff and there's no way of feeding the people. That live there without relying on Dukon. AKA I'm running out of food. <laughs> so I want to start planting fields to be able to harvest crops. But um Yeah, so I think right here's where we, yeah, so right here we could easily come and clean this out. Um and start getting good fields going or a good river going. I don't want a field down here. But yeah, we could bring that all down a little bit, bring it through here. And we could make some pretty steep cliffs in this area, I guess, and actually connect the river. Because if we went all the way through here, how far? Oh, we wouldn't have to go far at all. We'd only have to bring it down like four blocks. And I believe this connects all the way. Uh, sorry, sorry with the little jumping glitch, the light trick causing it. But yeah, so it connects out all the way over here. Oh yeah, we're freaking solid. Yeah, we can easily clean that up. Yeah, no, this will be easy. All right, cool. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. Yeah. Okay. So I think that'll be future plans, guys. We're gonna finish up the monastery, of course, first. I just want to give you guys a taste of where this series is gonna be going after we finish up the monastery, and all of that fun stuff. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try and get these update videos out more consistently, and then once a week. But as always, guys, I hope you um enjoyed blah, blah blah i said that again but um please leave like and subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you guys in the next one